Bao went on this really amazing trip. He was showing us all the photographs to Nepal. And there's a lot going on with the clothes, a lot of draping, and there's a lot of color and detail. It's very designed, you know, so I think we felt that it didn't really need a lot of hair and makeup. We wanted just really gorgeous, healthy, shiny hair. We're adding length to the girl's hair, so we wanted this very, very long length, almost like virgin-like quality to the hair. It's center parting, very, very flat, no volume behind the ears, off the shoulders. And then he's made these really beautiful necklaces. They're actually almost like a hair accessory, but they go around the neck and it sits on top of the hair and it looks like a saber tooth. So we're gonna pull bits out so you get this draping of the hair around the neck and the sort of elements of it that remind me of almost like when geisha before they dress their hair. So it's that kind of just very long, heavy, off the shoulders hair. Prabhu was really inspired by the Nepalese women. So we've done really heightened cheeks, that kind of winter sunburn that the women have. We've kept the skin very luminous and fresh, and we used a cream base, very rich, ready brick colour. And we've just placed it in the apple of the cheeks, giving that wind burnt feel to the cheeks. We've kept the eyes very nude, just contouring. And then we've brushed eyebrows, filling in and putting wax and then brushing them, giving a really beautiful texture. And then the lips were taking down with a little bit of foundation and lip balm. So it's an overall really fresh, beautiful, raw beauty. Good to see you too, all right? This season, it's inspired by the culture and the rich heritage and the whole social aspect and beautiful geography of the Himalayas and especially the place called Mustan. It's a secluded little place between Nepal and China and it used to be a kingdom and it was closed till 1991. So when I went there this past, uh, this holiday, it was really inspiring and it was kind of like a homecoming for me when I went there. So it was emotional and everything about it inspired this collection, you know, that uh, spiritual aspect of it also. It starts off with like what would they probably wear during the day and ends in a ceremonial thing. And you know, for me, I thought what better way to, you know, round up our fifth year with, you know, like a, a, some kind of like a homecoming. And going home gave me the comfort and the ease to work with the clothes. And so you'll see the clothes are slightly less rigorous, looser, very chunky knits. And the cashmere and pashmina from Nepal, we got it made there. And then the shoes that have little anklets handmade in Nepal, and we send it to Italy. So it's very much like really research and thought out. What I really loved about it is like this whole idea of layering and the colors and the textures and the tapestry. The clothes in itself was very much all about draping. They'd have like some kind of sportswear, but on top of that there'll be a shawl. And there's like a hybrid of knitwear with chiffons and then suits and jackets with draped charmeuse. Like, so it's like a hybrid of draping and tailoring together. I thought Prabhu had an amazing show. I love the contrast of heavy and light and hard and soft. I thought he did so effectively with the heavy knits, with the kind of more diaphanous wrap dresses and skirts. And I felt like that was a really transitional collection. I can really see women starting to wear that in early September and then into the winter. The collection was just beautiful. I really loved it. There were all the looks that I would like to wear. I, it was just exquisite. I like the colors. I like how you play with the grays and the black and white and the burgundy, the, the darker red, the brighter red, the embroidery, the layering, the chiffon with the knits and the oversized sweaters. But yet the way he cut them, you know, on the side, there was an opening or they were short in the front, longer in the back. They were still cozy and comfortable sweaters, but they had a great cut and tailoring still to them where they were not just like a, you know, flappy, oversized sweaters. They had a design, they had a style, yet it was still cool and effortless. I thought he did a brilliant job. I'm so proud of him. And you know, I feel like he is just evolving in a really good way and direction. And he's getting better and better and really doing a great job.
Preble Garang was superlative. You know, there's moments in fashion that will stay with you probably forever. And I think that Preble show that I just experienced is one of them. It's interesting, you know, he's from Nepal, and there was this gorgeous sense of Nepal in the show, and with a little hint of India, he took the idea of a sari or almost a wrap skirt, and often did it in chiffon, and they were short, but where the draping came to the hip, it dropped like a scarf, so it just fluttered away from the body. But these rich colors of beautiful burgundy and oranges and deep reds and bright reds, all worn together at the same time. It was just absolutely lush. And then that interesting mix of gray that we're seeing on every runway. 50 shades of gray and then some. It's really the theme this season. Gorgeous evening dresses on the finale, and you know Pebble loves a statement making gown. And the bodices were draped and wrapped, feeling very much like a sari, and then they just resolved into these big, fluttery chiffon gowns to the floor with a little bit of beadwork. This is really a gorgeous collection. I've developed a really great friendship with Cecily Brown, this artist. Her work completely inspired me, and you'll see a lot of prints and textures and furs and embroideries inspired by her work. To see Cecily, her own work is so like free, it's very daring. I've always said the woman that I designed for is a thinking man sex symbol and it's a femininity with a bite. Someone who's aware, someone who's global, who's someone who's very interested in the world. That kind of woman is what um, I was aspiring to create today.